Hi, Texas. Thanks for reading the CBS 19 weather blog. This video is aimed to go along and perhaps in, enhance or explain some of what you may have read. The storm coming up on Friday needs three ingredients, a surge in humidity ahead of the cold front, and we certainly see that happening. We'll watch the humidity from the South Texas near the Gulf Coast stream northward, and it will increase and set the table by Friday afternoon. This should be ample, deep moisture enough for thunderstorms, but something else we need is energy and there is moderate energy in the atmosphere. It's not a ton, but it is enough. What is energy? Energy comes from heating up the atmosphere. It comes from the buoyancy of the atmosphere. So those two factors combined can help to get air moving or rising. I think of it like a balloon. If we blow up a balloon, it has all of this potential energy inside, but it needs something to pop that balloon. In this case, it's the cold front coming into that energy. Once it pops that energy, that energy is then released and it can be rising and turning into thunderstorms. What can create and make those thunderstorms even stronger is something called wind shear. That's the change of winds either in speed or the change in direction with height. In this instance, we're looking at winds at about 5,000 feet off the surface of the earth. Look at the legend up here where you see the yellows. Those are winds greater than 65 miles an hour. And you start getting into winds in the red, that's getting closer to 80 miles an hour. So there is sufficient, very fast moving winds just off the surface of the earth. Well, that air or those winds, it's colder, it's more dense. So sometimes in these types of setups, that air is downward transferred to the surface and that can create damaging wind gusts. So that's something that we're gonna have to be very wary of as we head through Friday evening. As for future skycast, it's all good Thursday. You don't have to worry about showers and thunderstorms. Friday, these are passing non severe showers for the first half of the day. If we can get enough of those, then we would rob some of the energy from the atmosphere. It just doesn't look like it's going to happen so that by mid evening, we're looking at thunderstorms likely on the leading edge of these thunderstorms. Can you see how they sort of wave along? Well, this is an indication of where there are stronger winds making this line of thunderstorms bow out a little bit. Anytime we get a bowing of the thunderstorm or the line of thunderstorms, we can one have damaging wind gusts or two have a possible quick tornado spin up. So that is certainly a possibility as we go through Friday night into early Saturday. The good news is by Saturday morning, the severe threat is gone and the weekend looks fantastic. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy the rest of the CBS 19 weather blog.